Comedians opening cards with coffee, and we're here at that uh, laugh uh, imp- uh, improv learning to do stand up. And this is she's Sarah, and she's gonna open something here. Oh, why are you doing the class? Wait, what am I doing? Why are you doing the class? Um, I want to be the next Mrs. Maisel, obviously. Bam, that's good. Okay, what do you uh, what do you see? I am seeing the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh, very good. Right off the bat, no one's yeah. picked a one other person yeah. picked a Disney one, but yeah. Disney. Do you remember that uh, that film? Yeah, very creepy. That was the one with all the like cartoon like things that come to life, kind of like the, the teapots and stuff. No, <laughs> that was Beauty and the Beast. Oh, Hunchback is oh, I don't know. I didn't see the Disney thing. There's a story. It's, uh, it's, you're not missing much. It's not. It's by, uh, yes, um, I think she's okay. I'll go ahead. So what do I do now? So you just like like show a card and like just like oh I remember the scene or oh that's just stupid or I okay, don't know okay, whatever. Okay. okay. Whatever you, you know, they're double sided too. I don't know if one side's cooler than the other. I have no idea. I've never seen them. Um, okay, this is the Joker guy, and I remember him being funny. Oh, okay. it looks like you could like stand him up or cut him out. See that? How it's like die cut. It does look like I don't know what you do. Oh, Kloppen. Kloppen. Yeah, it might. I don't think that's how it's pronounced. Punch out the figure. Oh, yeah, he stands up somehow. Let's do that. That's pretty fun. Look at him. You make it like a three dimensional. Yeah. yeah. He's got a little puppet. So it's yeah. Like, oh, you like you have a kid or something too? Not probably. I don't know how old. I don't know if that's the right age or not. <laughs> she watched this movie and she was like, "Mom, why is the priest so mean?" And he is. He's mean and he's creepy. Oh, that's no but good. This is Esmeralda. Oh wow. Okay. Cool. She's very beautiful. Yeah. Very strong woman. That's good. Love her. Yeah. Disney sometimes does have strong women in the. No, but in the, she is. She's, she's strong, a good one. Yeah. Strong yeah. chick. Um, this is the, the poor hunchback. I forget. Victor what Hugo wrote the original thing. Yes. Now I remember. Yeah, yeah. At the Festival of Fools. Oh. And he's a great guy. Nice. Underdog. Right. Esmeralda, I think, falls in love with him at the end. Oh wow, he gets the girl. He gets the girl. But does he fall or something, or does something bad happen to him? Yeah, he gets trapped in like a tower. Yucky. Okay. Probably class is starting. This is we picked this a bad time. Fun. But thanks so much. Yeah. Enjoy the cards. Thank Those you. are for you. Rolling. Take two. Hey, good evening. My name is David Bateman. Yeah. Emily, you better with me. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> Gentlemen. <laughs> Everything. Uh, embarrassingly, I'm still learning to read, so I'm going to be practicing tonight with this little notepad. Uh, <laughs> teacher, be proud. <laughs> start by addressing the obvious elephant in the room, this thing. Uh, what year is this? This is so stupid. That's not a rhetorical question. I was struck in the head with an acne anvil on the way over here. <laughs> is that too cartoonish? <laughs> what year is this? 2023? So we are almost a quarter of the way through the 20, into the 21st century with some fun new inventions. Not all good. We kind of have self-driving cars, but if you put a traffic cone on their hood, they play dead like a hedgehog. We have getting scarier and scarier robot dogs. You can mount guns on them now, so they are becoming both cops and robbers. <laughs> can't, can't wait to play deadly games with the kids. Can't wait to play deadly games with the kids. Send Rover right over. <laughs> but, even though comedy is in the biggest boom ever, give or take the 1980s, what the fudge? Why does every comedian at every open mic still use Buddy Holly's original amp? Oh my god. Amp and microphone. Yeah. Fucking up with the words. <laughs> what is this, vaudeville? Should I do Song of the South? It's hard to get laughs on those again. Uh, this seems so easily solved. I'm sure everyone has seen a TED Talk. Uh, or a singer at a stadium. They use this head post, headpiece thingy with a microphone. Uh, God, so your hands are free to move about the cabin and act out. <laughs> no, let me keep my hand right here, always this close to my face. Miming, I have a complete ice cream cone, but won't enjoy any of it. <laughs> but not only am I participating in, but also winning some sort of updated Stanford marshmallow experiment. Yeah, this seems au naturel. 
Now laugh, motherfuckers, <laughs> and let me enjoy my hogging dogs. <laughs> Take two. Backdrop to this episode than uh, this. Too bad it's been appropriated by this business, but whatever. Improvements, I guess. That's what businesses do, but capitalism. Anywho, it's uh, comedians opening cards. No coffee, and this is the Being Ian with Jordan episode, and we've got some special guests. Uh, Ron on Hirschberg, not all that happy with opening the cards, and uh, Samuel Goodson, and it's a fabulous episode. It's, it's the longest one I've taped so far, because we've got four comedians. You'll hear Mark Norman come out of the door, step back in, but I got him earlier that night, so it was no worries, but uh, it was a great one, and you're going to be happy with it. And we're going to make this one really fun, and uh, we're joking around, so don't worry about it. Uh, cocaine. Okay. So it's comedians opening packs. No coffee. And so we have Jensen. I can't remember your first name. Jordan. Jordan Jensen, who is hilarious. You got to see live stand up. It's the best. Podcast, Ian Fyatt. No, Jordan. your your podcast is great, but there's so many fucking podcasts. It's so hard to listen to the them one. all. Yeah, ours is the best one. Yeah. Can I pick a pack? Yes, you can. What are oh, you picking? Wait, wait, one. what are you picking? Trolls? Oh, you pick he's trolls? a little guy. You pick trolls and oh, new kids on the block. You got to do it. Yes, 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 yes. Actually, Do I want to keep it? it. No, you're going to keep it. But Will I want to keep it? it not open. Are you going to make us pay for this? No. Oh, so okay, all I'm going to have you do if you sign one card okay, to me yes. back. But if you want to keep this one, open a different pack and keep the new kids. I want to open Trolls because I The best one, the, mo the most valuable one is Moonraker. Uh, oh, Batman! Oh, this is... Oh. Yes! Oh, you just Wait, stole which one did him? You? No, he, oh, told he, me, he told me, okay, he told okay. me, he told me, he told me, he told me, he told me. Because I love okay. New Kids on the Block. I had crushes on them. Right. Oh, oh, yes, of course. This is the best. Okay. Wait, you got to show, you got to show, you got to okay, show Mayor talk. Theodore. Who is it? Oh, it's a guy, a little guy named Mary Theodore. Do you know the trolls? Yes. Oh, my God, the I course. love... So the old school Batman. Old school Batman. The old trolls. Trade a troll for Batman. The, uh, yes, the you old trolls. The here, here, this the is old... you. Nightmare is a child. Me! <laughs> the old trolls were from Norway, and they're like, it's almost, they're like a weird fibrous thing. They yes. made a Superman one. I sold one for 500 bucks for the Superman troll, the old wow. Norway. Somehow, Thomas transformed these evil, scary creatures and their exaggerated features into a doll that's so ugly, it's actually cute. Oh, oh I never had the old ones, but I had these ones, and I had to right, right. I had to burn them all because I thought they were- Oh, exaggerated. this is when you me! Burn them, you yeah, they what scared you mean? me. Look, look, like, this is that, me! You don't want to bring I'm that revived in. by feline friends. My Here. cat makes you love feel cats. Yes, yes, And you're a bike dude. Yeah. I love riding. This is great. Um, okay, let me find Ian in here. Hold on. You can't open oh, the ball. <laughs> here's the name of your ex-girlfriend, and she said something borrowed something oh. blue, like Ian's uh, balls, because uh, blue balls. Because I couldn't you. come because she wasn't Wait, a man. Oh. Did, what was the thing? Who's the dude who has the uh, sub shop? Jodoro. And you and on some podcasts you're like, yeah, I slept with someone in the, I fucked someone in the oh, freaking bathroom. Did? Yes, nice. it was hilarious. <laughs> it's like Ian's the first one to fuck in the we bathroom. Got it, we got it, we got it. <laughs> oh, Okay, we He's have the coke guy. You're the guy. Oh. Hey, Mark, how's it going, man? Dude, open another one. Come on, when you have a chance. Wait, send out. Oh, sorry, man. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> he ate the gum. Yo, you can't. You can't. When there's a drug. That's a bar right there. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. You know that? What? What'd you say? We are you. Yeah, I know. I, I'm. Yes, that's why. Yes. Yes. I know, like that. Yes. My dude. Shout that out. guy last night. What guy oh. last night? There was a guy outside the cellar that was like a glimpse. I mean, he was cr Ghost of Christmas Future Vian. He was a crazy man. No, he was you like, said oh, Ghost of Christmas Future I was of making us. you feel better, but that dude is you, you fucking in the future. Cunt? No. No. It was us. That dude was scrambled. I have you on video saying us. I'm a good friend. What was he like? What was the guy like? I mean, he had a backpack. <laughs> oh, yeah. The backpack was, yeah. I, I legit have a picture of you with your glasses on your forehead and him they were with your his glasses, glasses on the forehead. They were your glasses. <laughs> with your face. <laughs> this guy was he he was holding a brown paper bag of beer and trying to get a bunch of comics to open packs of cards and then talk about him which we did and it was fine but he was just so like and another thing and another thing and he had to sign him and i wrote hey calm it down I stand up six eight times well, the first i gotta time, go i did a one minute Where? i did my kill tony minute to norman oh my god Oh, I have to go up the two. Look at these giant mushrooms. Look at these cuties. That's I'm us. A, oh, I'm a slate. That's us. Uh, 
next to us. Inge okay. and Sven. Okay. You're Inge. I'm Sven. I'm Sven. You're Sven. Okay. He's the Coca-Cola guy. Wind. Not this the... is you because you fart so much. You, well, the other night. That was incredible. That was, that was really something. You should have done I got both of you together. I got, I got I, Mark and Sam. Well, Ron, on. You didn't want to do it. You gotta do it. Come, Come on, on, just grab a it's pass. Really you have a time. Episode. Ron, get, get on. Yeah. Come on, just. Yeah. Well, it comes with a sticker. It comes with Here's a sticker. Yes, it's the best. Oh, it's the but remember, best. you have to sign one for me, please. Okay. Whatever. I mean, just if you're, if you're you know, if you're. All right, I'm opening this. What do you? What would you pick, what you Alf? Um. Would you have the water? I What'd you picked, pick? Uh, Video City. Oh yeah, I'm so curious to what's inside that. Why'd you pick that one? Video games you like? Uh, I don't, I don't really. He just wants to go to Uber. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's what Joe List did too. He he but he was waiting for his Uber. But yeah, D Donkey Kong. Oh wow, are they stickers? They're uh. Cards. I'm, not playing I'm gonna buy more of those. Fuck is going Dude, close. come on, we're playing cards. Pick a card. Talk about the deck. Which right, one do so you like? I can't remember your name. I've seen you do stamps so many Sim. times. You're the fucking this. bomb. Thank you, man. Dude, what was what your name again? This? Sim. Sim, oh, good. Sim, please just sign yeah. one for me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she has the pen. That'd be great, Ron. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What'd you get? Donkey Kong is great. Donkey Can I Kong do is Star a... Trek. Yeah, do, yeah, do Star Trek. What do I? Do? Oh, Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck is a great one. Yes. Uh, uh, Wait, what do we do? Uh, 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 I can't cook for shit, and then I point it to the tiny blender. Yes. I you love. rock. Yo, this is so fucking What's dope. Yeah, 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 David. That's right. Wait, it's okay. Bacon is my last name. Let me do one with a better. Where's Greg? We need Greg for this. Who's I need Greg for this. Greg, Greg Stone. Stone. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. He's funny. Here, this thing. Wait, what is this? I don't know. What do you have? You got Howard, Howard the, Duck. the Duck. I don't know what the heck they but are. But I mean, like, what do you want? Oh, shit. What'd from you get? the movie. You got to show. You got to show the camera. Oh, what's up, camera? Yeah, camera. All right. Can we talk about this? Do what is this? I this is Howard yeah, the yeah, Duck. Yeah. It's called right? Comedian. Read, read what I wrote. Wait, what did Ian I wrote? I wrote Dave. Let me write that. Thank you. Here, read this what This is I wrote. like the least popular the movie camera. in the world. Bacon. Comment down. Holy shit. Fucking. What is it? It's like my favorite Dale. bad movie. I was on Feldman's yeah. podcast for like a year. You know David Feldman? Oh my god, he like had sex with a human woman in this movie. Nah, whatever. How with the duck in the oh, movie in the eighties? Yeah. He had like sex. He fucked a woman in a movie. A oh yeah, movie. that's right. The duck thing yeah. is insane. How with the duck in this movie fucked a bitch? <laughs> yes, a woman, a human, a baddie, not just. Not like a goofy bitch, like a bad bitch. You know, he's the most exciting individual I've ever met. He isn't into the whole macho thing, but he knows who he is and what he wants. <laughs> Everyone thinks of him as a hero now, but I share his feelings and he's touched my soul. And right now, I would give anything to run my fingers through his. Feathers. George Lucas presents. Imagine if they made a movie with your favorite moving picture maker, George Lucas. The great bearded one? And what if Mr. Lucas then cast that foxy Leah Thompson from Back in the Future? I'm slightly listening. And what if I told you this very movie was from the writer of Indiana Jones? I'm an adult now. I know it's simply not possible. Before Iron Man kicked off the MCU, before Spider-Man broke box office records, before Roger Corman made the best Fantastic Four movie. The first major Marvel Comics property to get a live action film was none other than Howard the Duck. Yep, back in 1986, Marvel and Lucasfilm did something weird. They made a movie adaptation of Howard the Duck. The character had been around since 1973, and he was mostly a satirical character. But more importantly, there wasn't a huge fan base that demanded a movie be made about him. Regardless, they pushed through and created a film that's as strange as it is awful. It's definitely one of those movies that's so bad, it's good. Or at least so bad, you have to watch it at least once to see what passed for an acceptable movie pitch in the mid-1980s. That's it. No more Mr. Nice Duck. Lucas teamed up with two schoolmates. Willard Hike and Gloria Katz. Who he'd previous work with on Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. They originally wanted to make Howard the Duck as an animated film. Something that may have worked, but the studio was looking for a big budget release for the summer blockbuster window. Not now, Dorothy. This man is still very down about his financial situation. He was one of the principal backers of Howard the Duck. 
based on Steve Gerber's offbeat creation, which suffered some collateral damage it didn't deserve, the film resembles one of those Saturday Night Live sketches that has one joke and keeps going and going and going. The joke here is that Howard is a sentient cigar chomping duck from another planet. Now wouldn't it be hilarious if he crash landed on Earth where people aren't used to foul language? Not my shorts! Find your hands You perverts! But before we get into all that, we first spend a good five minutes with Howard as he does his job in the Love Hotel. He reads Play Duck magazine. A girlfriend sends a phone message, essentially inviting him to come over and smash. And when Howard is being sucked out of his house, he crashes through a bathroom where a female duck is naked and she has... Yikes. So whoosh through a wormhole goes poor workaday Howard from his living room in Duck World to an alleyway in Cleveland, where he's immediately accosted by street toughs who, for some reason, are unmoved by the miracle of a duck trying to talk them down. Right away, the movie's biggest conceptual problem reveals itself. Sometimes humans are unfazed by Howard. Sometimes they recoil in horror. Rarely does the world seem stranger than the stranger which is the essence of fish-out-of-water comedy. You know how to mop. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, right. There you go. Anyway, at this point, Howard meets an off-brand female rock star named Beverly, played by Leah Thompson. The two hit it off, and things get just as weird and bizarre as you could imagine it could be. Despite the fact that they are literally from different planets, the two become rather close. He helps her manage her music career, and she helps him acclimate himself to life on Earth. However, things come to a head after one night when Beverly strips down to her panties, invites Howard into her bed, and they have a brief smooching session. In the comic book version of these characters, their romantic relationship is explored much deeper and in much more graphic detail. So perhaps we should be thankful that the film only chose to make things only moderately creepy. So, uh, okay, now, did you know what your mom did as a kid? I mean, she was in movies and television. Did you, how aware of you of your mom's fame? I thought I knew what she did. Um, I, when I was little, like, I, was, I guess I was scrolling through the TV and, and I, I came across, have you, have you guys ever seen Howard the Duck? Has anyone seen it? <laughs> okay, so there's a particular scene in the film in which my mother, uh, makes love to a duck. <laughs> why did he do that? Why did they ha why did they make that? George Lucas. George Lucas is crazy. Wait, so what's what's happening here? This is just comedians opening cards, no coffee. Okay. <laughs> and here we are. And You're what I do? You just open I the cards. Sign it? Do you I keep the sign, cards? You keep the cards, just sign one. You are the second person to eat the gum. Mark Norman also ate the gum. Oh my god. That's like nineteen eighties gum. Where, it's no good. Gum. Where's the gum? I don't know. Thank you so much. George, I got a little guy. Yo, this is the dopest. Thank, Thank you so. Oh, Donkey Kong Jr. Donkey Kong is one of like Pac-Man. Donkey Kong collectibles are way more valuable than Pac-Man for whatever it's worth. Yeah. Okay, I probably okay. shouldn't yeah, yeah. open this. Well, yeah, but why not? I can do it again and bring Yo, you one. Yo, the gum not... is gone. I can't believe you ate the gum too. <laughs> it doesn't. Tr it, there's no gum. It's <laughs> gone. Gum? You're the bomb. You there was gum, yeah. yeah. Uh, All right, well, can I get this back? I'm from the 80s. You can keep whatever you want. You can whatever. Some people keep them. Some people, it doesn't matter what you do. Yeah. Well, Dave's great. You do, fuck, what podcast are you on, Ron? On? I don't do a podcast. Where have I heard you then? Why do I know you? I knew you. Why? What I recognize your voice? Do I? Do I? Me and Joe. Joe lived for me to the podcast. Right. You did a movie podcast. Can you look at Ian really quick? Ian, what are you doing? Why are you? Because Ian, you know. This is great. Ian is. The, Ian, I mean, fuck. When you were doing the shit with uh, Atel, that thanks. was the bomb. Oh, thanks. Your podcast is great. Uh, Thank you. You're very kind, man. Thank you. And also, thanks for seeing me in Rhode Island. Appreciate seeing you in Rhode Island. I have to do that. Rhode Island, Boston, New York. That's what I do. That's the you best. know. Uh, and you comedians are just. It, I. Can't. You should follow Ron on. He's really fucking funny, and his nope. special's really good. I don't think I've seen this special. You gotta watch it. It's fucking phenomenal. Well, is it on YouTube or? It's on YouTube. Check it out. Live from the underground. Right? Live. Jokes from the underground. Jokes. Jokes from the underground. My bad, my bad, my bad. You know, the for, to be honest, my I problem is. Of course, thank you so much. Yeah, me too. Can we, but it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Wait, I don't have the cap. I got the cap. I got oh, the cap. Okay. Hey, you're the man. Fuck. What, what was your name again? Sim. Simeon Goodson. Oh, I got to read? Simeon? Yeah. That's a mean something else. Simeon. That, that, that has like a meaning, doesn't it? Right. 
I can't remember what it means though. Simeon. To hear God's calling some wild Jewish shit. You know what it is. Well, how'd you get that name? Oh, I don't get it. I'm talking to my mother. No, I just threw on my face. Did I just throw on my face? No, you didn't. You shit. Got I almost thought I did. Okay. I gave you this one because I'm keeping the rest. This is so dope. As Sim. Fuck yeah, man. Shit, I've seen This is the craziest, like, I'm wild happy for this. I've seen you fucking laugh hysterical outside with some other dudes, and it was the best. But thank you so much, man. You can tell the story of how you ruled the Sopranos for you. <laughs> What's up, bro? 8.30 Mondays. Comedians. Opening cards. No coffee.